Well, G'day everyone and welcome back to another David Maxwell Golf video where we are heading back out on course again and I'm going to show you guys how the Garmin Epix Gen 2 can help benefit your game. So if you don't recall, I went out on course and uh, it wasn't very good last time. So I think I shot uh, seven over in eight holes. It was nine over for the whole round, but the front nine was the one that was filmed for those first eight holes. Now my game, when I actually went back and analyzed it, um, I was able to see through the Garmin Golf app. Now this is an awesome thing about the Epix Gen 2 watch, right? And even the Garmin S62, if you're just a golfer, I got the Epix Gen 2 because I want to get into fitness as well and get all of that data in the same spot. I've already gone through that, so check out my previous video if you want to see that. Today, what we're going to be doing is how do you use this watch to actually get better at golf? When I went back through the stats, I only hit two out of eight greens in regulation. Three out of six fairways, which is not good. But what I'm able to do is I'm able to go through and see, well, what went wrong? Where were my misses and, and what was happening to actually make my score be that bad? Because trust me, I'm a better golfer than that. I went back and I took a look and the problem that I was having is that I was kind of getting, when I'm getting into my wedges, right? When I was getting into my wedges, I was missing the greens. So obviously there's something going wrong with my wedge game. I haven't had time to work on it between then and now, but I'm back out on course and this is what I'm able to do. I'm able to go through and look at the data and say, okay, well, I'm getting too close to the green and I'm missing greens because of my wedges. So I'm gonna lay back. Uh, the plan of attack today is just to lay back a little further, have like a pitching wedge, a nine iron into the green instead of a 56, hit more greens in regulation, give myself more birdie looks, hopefully better scores. Let's do it on the first tee. All right guys, so like I said, the plan today is to lay back a little bit. Now we are off the 10th, not the first, so we've had a bit of a change of plans there. I'll explain that in a minute, but right now, it's just gonna be three wood in play over the bunkers. That's a really nice strike and that will be perfect. Perfect, great drive. So guys, like I mentioned, uh, we were gonna go off the first, but when I got there, I found some mates on the first, so we went and played the, uh, the front nine first there. And let me tell you, um, it's, it's enjoyable to go out, I didn't play that well, but it's enjoyable to go out and, uh, and have the camera off as well and, and just play with some mates. So, but I do love doing what I do. I do love vlogging, I do love getting on YouTube, getting out here on course and, uh, and working on stuff. So. I was able to work on it on the front nine, so this is very much, I am warmed up, there's no excuses, and let's see how we go. Well, I mean, we hit a great tee shot there, literally in perfect position. Okay, guys, so this is what I love about the Garmin watch. So, we can see that it says 101 in the middle, 112 to the back, that's quite a bit of difference. So I can go view green, and I can actually change it to where the pin location is, which is up the back, 106 meters, um, which is about 100 and, I don't know, 17 yards or something like that and that's going to be a gap wedge for me. So my gap wedge typically typically goes about 100, but we are downwind slightly. So this should be pretty much bang on a smooth, perfect numbered gap wedge. That's on the pin. That is beautiful. Yes, come on. Let me just say that wasn't happening on the front nine, but that is a great way to start the back nine. So guys, because you didn't see this on the vlog last time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up an image from uh, the Garmin Epix Gen 2 watch of how I played the hole last time versus how I played the hole this time so you guys can get a full visual as to what's changed. Now, I was bang on 100 meters there, which is a really nice distance for me. That 80 meter range, like you saw on the vlog, uh, I was I missed, I think, like three from three. So. That is not a good good yardage for me at the moment, so I need to steer clear of that, lay back a little, have a more fuller shot, the gap wedge into the green, and I've gone a little bit by, but I've got a good opportunity for a birdie. Uh, I'm gonna take the pin out today, guys. I just prefer it, prefer it out. But even this alone, I mean, like, this is a genuine birdie opportunity, which is just something I didn't have enough of in the last vlog. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta laugh. <laughs> like that. That is such a better swing. That's a beautiful draw and that's gone a long way anyway. Wow, that's long. I'm learning. So what you can see there with that little ball on the top, that's my tracker. That's telling me I hit that 310 meters, 340 yards. That is an absolute bomb. And like I said, I took the swing easy. I didn't try and swing out of my shell. So something to learn there. So another thing that you would have seen there is that the Garmin Epix Gen 2 watch as a golf watch has virtual caddy added to it now as part of the software, which is really good. So the virtual caddy's told me that I can hit five iron here 
and I'm going to be on the green. So we have 185 to the very front fringe, 200 to the middle, the pins between the front and the middle. So I'm kind of agreeing with that right now anyway. Pulled it. I've pulled it. And that was me. I felt that. I felt the body go. Okay, right, so another thing that the watch was telling me is that I was pulling quite a lot of shots left with the with the longer irons, and here we are. Not a great position. So, and I've got a wedge in my hand with a very, very tight tuck pin. So this is my third shot, luckily. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna get it up left side of the pin, give myself a crack at birdie, but if not, worst case scenario is passed. So right now, I'm just thinking about saving shots. Honestly, I don't wanna mess this up like I did the other day. So learn from the mistakes, just get it on the green, give myself a putt. I hope that hasn't rolled off the back. I hit that clean, but it looked like a bounce hard. Well, I have a putt at it, so this technically still counts as a green regulation, but they're really tough conditions right now. I mean, I couldn't go at that pin. You've got a bunker hill just behind you there. From that rough, it, I wouldn't have been able to hold it anyway. So I went to the safe shot, but this all runs down, so that's why my ball's down here. And uh, now this is not the easiest putt back up either, so I'm kind of messing things up with going for these. I mean, I could have laid back to 100 like the last hole. Hindsight's beautiful, isn't it? Sit, 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 sit. Good putt. It's so, it's, golf is so cruel. Like that's the three putt from there is. Oh guys, that's the unfortunate side of golf, you know? Um, I mean, it really came back to the approach shot again. So the approach shots is what cost me a lot of shots in the last round. That's where I, I went, I got a lot of bogeys and the wedge shot wasn't that bad, but I was so out of position. And that green is so hard and fast. I could say that I should have uh, laid back, but then if I had to hit the five iron on the green or I had to hit it straight, I would have been perfect. Those left hooks right now, I really need to fix them. There's something going on in my swing that I'm, I'm pulling a lot of things left and uh, it's probably just a lack of confidence to be honest it's probably just a lack of commitment to the shot so let's do that from here on in learn from that hole it's a bogey keep my headspace positive and uh, let's hit another great drive that was a downside of that one it hit such a great drive in the fairway and I got a bogey on a par five from 200 meters out that's it's not good but let's keep positive oh I've drop kicked it All right guys, so we got one 17 to the middle. When I said I'd rather be lucky than good, this is it. I mean, I could have been in the bunker with nearly an impossible shot, but this is definitely a fly lie. So I've got a wedge. I'm just gonna have to take a little bit off this. It's turning, turning, turning. Oh, that's a great shot. That's what we need, come on. Now we need to sink that, get that bogey back that we just got. Like that line, let's go. No. Okay. That's another par, but I tell you what, I would rather that and actually have a decent look at birdie than what we're trying to do on the last hole. And that's like have a wedge from a really difficult position, trying to get up and down. So definitely laying back is helping me, right? Like the two times so far out of three holes where we've laid back, we've had good birdie opportunities. The one time where I actually went for the green in two, on the par five, I was out of position and I ended up with a bogey. So the Garmin Epix Gen 2 watch has definitely helped me understand my game and where it's at right now. So whilst I can go back and I can work on the other things, if I'm going to play a comp this Saturday, then I know what to expect, I know what to do. Anyway, we've got a beautiful hole right now. One of my favorite holes on the course, the 13th. Let's get it. All right guys, let's go down the fairway. We've got the wind into us, so just need to be a confident swing here. Get through the ball. That is beautiful. Come on. That's what I like to see. Perfect position, top of the hill. It's into the wind, so it hasn't gone that far, but happy with that. Right, guys, so we have 155 to the back, which is where that pin is. We're slightly into the wind, which is about 180 meters, 180 yards, I think, 175 yards. I've got eight iron, and I'm just looking to get this in under the wind, straight at that pin. Draw. That's gonna be good if it draws a little more. Ah, but just a touch short. I got it a bit thin and I didn't really draw, but that's okay. All right, guys, so we are just off the green, but we're still in a good spot. Now, this is puttable. I'm not going to bother messing around with the wedge. I'm just going to putt this. It's going to go up and break a little right to left. Pretty straightforward stuff. Get in the hole. It didn't break. I hit that exactly where I wanted to. That was a good putt. I mean, 
you can take something from that. There's another par. So we want over. Yeah, we want over. Happy with that. It's another par, short of the hill, eight iron in, take a par there all day. So another thing that the Epic Gen 2 watch has helped me with is understanding. So now that I'm, well, so now that I'm on the golf course, I'm out here, I'm actually physically doing it. Because I've gone back and I've looked at the data, I've looked at exactly what I was doing wrong, I know how to avoid those troubles. Or in other words, I know how to miss better. So, so far today, the only thing that's got us in trouble, which led to a bogey, was that short-sided green side chip, which troubled me last round. So at the moment, I mean, it's already worth its weight in gold. We got a long par, par three now, 200 meter par three. This is gonna be a four iron, I think. All right, so the tees are actually way back here. So I think it is a four iron. I grabbed a five, I think it's a four. All right, four iron, here we go. That is beautiful. Drawing back nicely. Middle of the green. It's gonna be at the back. We're gonna have a long putt at it, but we gotta putt at it. All right, guys, so we have an extremely long putt. That pin, again, I don't know what they're doing with the pins here, honestly, but they are all like really on ridges. There hasn't been a pin that I would consider even an easy pin. Oh, there was one middle one. That was it. We need to hurry because we're running out of light here. I might only get one or two more holes in. All right, let's go. If this can go in. That would be amazing. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Come on. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was just about to say, are you kidding me? I thought it just hung up on the lip. Come on. That is a massive putt. Yes, that's how it's done. That gets us back, back to even. What a putt. Far out, I think that's the longest putt I've sunk here in a long time. Let's quickly get to the next hole. All right, guys, we have a long par four. I'm trying to get this in. Hopefully the light's okay on the camera still. Let's go. Basically, just straight up the guts. Getting through the ball. Oh, that is hammered. Absolutely hammered. That's the best driver today. That's a bomb. Yeah, baby, come on. We're on a high, we're on a high. Let's ride it. Okay, so we have 130 to the middle. So 129, actually. I'm gonna go pitching wedge and... Uh... Oh, I've duffed it, no. Might be on the very front of the green, but that's that's no good. Okay, right, so I was carrying on about the shot and I didn't hit it well, but I have managed to roll up here, so we've got a decent look at it. That way, that way, that way, that way, that way. No. Great pace. That's a par though. I'll take that par. Let's see if we can get one more in. All right, guys, we got driver. I really hope you can see me. This is starting to get really quite dark. So this is definitely going to be the last hole we're going to be able to fit in. But I hope you can see the benefit already of having the Epix 2 Gen, uh, Gen 2 watch. It's just course management has already gotten a lot better. Let's go. I don't know. So guys, this will definitely be our last hole because it is so dark. But I hope you can see the benefit of using something like the Garmin Epix Gen 2 watch because I was able to go back from a really bad round, see where I went wrong, what were my weaknesses, like what were the weak areas that I really need to stay away from until I can practice. Now, I've stayed away from them today. I haven't had one shot from that 80 meter range at all and I'm even par. So being able to go back actually see those things have them in your head that you need to you need to be careful in this round of these distances at least until you go back and practice them gain some confidence with them then sure hit hit those distances from the course but even though my confidence was low i'm able to come out here with confidence knowing that i know where to stay away from and it's really worked honestly it's really really worked so Props to Garmin for having that technology available. It's incredible. All right, guys, so this is probably one of my favorite distances. So this is 45 meters. More than happy with that. I'd, I'd much rather 45 than 80. And I've got a 60 degree. So we're just going to get it up there, get it nice and close on the green. Beautiful. Probably rolled off a little bit. Probably got 10 feet. It could have been closer that time, but that was pretty good. All right, guys, let's do well here. Let's get a birdie to sign off. That would bring us to one under through these holes. We do have two more holes to play, but we just simply don't have enough light. So if we can get this birdie here, that would be awesome. I like that line. Just got to hit it end over end. And it should go in the hole.
Like that. Yes. Yes. Come on. What a way to finish. So I know I've been on about it a little bit, but honestly, the other day, I really didn't play good golf at all. And even when I did the front nine here again, just, just before when I was warming up, still didn't feel great. Still really had some very ordinary holes, but to be able to come to the back nine, to look at those um, holes that I, and how I played them last time, and then play them better today, or, or learn from those mistakes, it's incredibly invaluable. I mean, I had one bogey and two birdies, and I never felt like I was out of position, other than when I tried to go for the green on the par five, which was really just a poor five iron shot. So. If you don't have a Garmin Golf Watch, these things will really help your game. Whether it's the S62, the S42, even the S10, or I probably would say get the S42 or the S62 because that's going to give you the background data that I've showed here or the Epix Gen 2 watch if you're like me and you're wanting to do a lot of fitness stuff as well as golf, you want to have it as like an all-in-one solution on your wrist, then definitely get the Epix Gen 2 because it is worth its weight in gold as you've seen here today. So that's it from me today, guys. I hope you love it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel, uh, like this video, comment a positive comment. You got any questions, um, throw them in the comments. I'm also thinking about soon starting a competition where I have some matches against some subscribers. So if you're in the local Gold Coast area or, or, or Brisbane area, um, fling me a message and, and I'm keen to get some matches happening. So let's do it. I'll see you guys.